Of course, it begins with an acceptance letter. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Term begins on 1st of September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree of the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside the school. However, due to your unique circumstances, the Ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Eleazar Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. Yours sincerely, Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. Hello, everybody. It is the Ash Heritor, and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. You might be surprised that I'm playing this game, considering I have never mentioned anything about an interest in Harry Potter, and that's because I basically don't have an interest in Harry Potter. Uh, within this settings terms, I'm more or less just a filthy muggle. But here we are. The game looked very interesting, and I watched a bit of, uh, you know, pre-release content of it. Not much, nothing to spoil myself. I specifically avoided anything that was story related or exploration related. Just general ideas of what this game was going to be about. And it looks good. It looks very good. And for that, I'm excited. Now, while I say I'm not interested in Harry Potter as a whole, I am a huge fan of fantasy and science fiction horror. I am myself an author. So, naturally, I just devour fictional settings, which means I actually know more than many about this setting, and not by specific, um, you know, attempt. It's just I absorb this type of information very well, at much at the cost of absorbing information that's actually useful in many other circumstances. This is just how it is for me, and, uh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm not a complete noob when it comes to the Harry Potter verse. I'm just don't expect me to have a super in-depth assessment of the lore. However, this is going to be a lore playthrough, which means I'm going to attempt to learn as much as possible about the setting through the lens of this game. So if you're all interested in joining me on that journey, hit that like button and come and watch this video. Come join me in this experience. So let's uh, let's get ourselves started immediately. All right, we're going to do the character creation and I'm going to go through this myself so as not to bore you with everything. I don't have much of a history for him. He is going to be something of a blank slate character. All I know is what I've given him as his name. Huron stems from uh, old French, so it's logical that Huron Ash here has some French lineage, only reasonable given England and France's history. And Ash is, of course, a uh, an English name, as a last name, of course. And, uh, you know, it's fitting for my channel, considering I'm the Ash Heritor and all that. Anyways, this is going to be our dapper young chap here that we'll be playing as. Just a quick uh, zoom in of the face. He's got a nice scar. On one cheek, I don't know what the hell inflicted that, but, uh, you know what? We'll work out his backstory as we go along. I don't want to invest in a backstory because I don't know what the name is going to, or what the game is going to give to us, so we shall see. Let's begin our journey. Tell me that's my owl. Ah. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Okay. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eliasar. Mm -hmm. Of course. 
Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Hmm. Suspicious. Ah, yes. Of course. Ooh, I wonder if that's being uh, driven by the uh, the winged de destrals, I believe is what they're called. That's unusual. your traveling companion a new student new yes sir I'm starting school as a fifth year unusual how extraordinary it is indeed none of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late nor have I of course as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> ministry, Have yeah? you seen this? Goblin Rebellion. Truth or gobbledygook? Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, That's probably not I good. believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Hmm. Nor do I. Hmm. Merlin's beard. How did you... Wait. We do. Uh. Hang on. That sucks, bro. Oh boy. Oh. Confirmed, so you only see them after you see something dying. We just saw that guy get absolutely yeah. damaged. Yeah. That's cool. Josh. Oh my god. Uh, do we have a plan? The key! Did the key do that? The hell out. A squirrel. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. 
Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Press G to heal. Um, I'm not... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm not doing a mouse and keyboard thing. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... There's something attached Professor? to its chest. Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port Ooh. key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Then we got very lucky. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. So, hold on. One quick thing. Sensitivity's real damn high. It's too damn high. So uh, I'm going to decrease that somewhere, probably here. Uh, no, come on now. Uh, invert flight controls? Absolutely not. What do you take me for? Um, camera sensitivity? Yeah, let's decrease that to like 70. My, uh, my controller is pretty janky. What about now? That, that's definitely better. A little bit more fluid. Hey, can I sprint? Can I jump? No, can't do anything. I guess I'm still injured. It's very bright. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. You the port key was meant to lead us there. I do. <laughs> this has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path however faded it may be. It's not faded, it's literally right here. Like, this is the clearest path I've ever seen on a cliffside in my entire life, buddy. Mind your step. Yeah, it'll be fine. Actually, hold on. I've gotta try. It doesn't look like we can dive off the side. A shame. Hold on, I just wanna walk slowly. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Oh, yeah. Jump or climb. Cool, cool. Ancient magic, you say? I don't know enough about the Harry Potter verse to know magic. what that... Yeah, exactly. Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hmm. Given that I'm a video game protagonist, I imagine I'm one of those rare few. I thought he just jumped off there. I was like, bro, it's not smart. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Okay. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Arcade, huh? Sir, searching. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. True enough. Uh, that's sinister. You know, I have something that looks very much like this in my Is book. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Yeah, I'm gonna walk through it. Someone wanted to block this path. Okay. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Uh. 
Right trigger and basic cast. Cool, cool. Excellent. Very cool. Using your camera to, or use your camera to select a target. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick by disabling camera relative targeting in setting. Okay. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Oh. Obligatory sliding section. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. It'll be fine. Fuck these pots. No, where are you going? You're one worth improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Is it? I'm just shattering pots. You know what? I'll take the compliment. I'm sorry. I may have just shot that through you, but it seems like you don't care. What do we got here? Some gulls? Can I sh can I wand laser the gulls? No. Up there. Ah, indeed. What? Hold on. What's over here? Aside from uh, death. Pretty cool area. I do like it. How'd he get up there? He's pretty old. Must be uh, fairly well uh, well exercised. What do we got? We got a chain here. Sorry, bro. I'm exploring off the beaten path because this is what I do. All right. So, ah, look at that. Almost walked by this. We got anything here? Nothing? Can I, like... No. Okay. We're close now. It's just ahead. Indeed it is. Unfortunately, uh, I think it's 100% fucked. Steady yourself! Repair! Bloody wizards and the cheat codes. If only everything was that easy. Almost there. Well, I want to look back at. Oh, that's really cool. All right, so we just came down uh, across this area. I wonder if this is going to be part of the greater open world. So, like, when we get access to the more open world elements, are we going to be able to come back here? That'd be pretty dope if we can. We are in Scotland, and to my knowledge, Hogwarts is in Scotland. But then again, Scotland's kind of a big place, so might mean something, might mean nothing. This looks like wizard Why would ruins. Someone have built this here. I suspect they valued their privacy. That porky led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Well, there's this bus relief. The mini-map shows your surroundings. View in the center. That's your current objective. Okay. I... Back to Hogwarts. Yeah, okay. Let me turn that off. I may turn mini-map stuff off at some point. I generally prefer to find my own way in these games. By the way, um... Because this is a completely blind playthrough, because this game just came out today, at the time I'm recording it. I'm recording about an hour after it came out, because I had to download patches for an hour. Um, this is a blind playthrough. I will probably take this at a much slower pace than other people on YouTube, because I'm going to be reading everything. I'm going to be doing a lot of exploration. So, uh, kindly don't spoil anything for me. Don't, uh, don't tell me anything that might change how I play the game. If I miss something somewhere, just tell me, hey, you missed something over at this place. Don't tell me what it is, though. Let me figure it out for myself. That's, uh, that's all I ask. Limit the backseat gaming. I don't mind, like, gameplay tips or advice, but don't spoil any secrets or puzzles or any of that. Uh, right. I actually wanted to look at the bus relief. That's one thing I like doing. I am a, uh, veteran of the Souls games, so environmental storytelling is kind of a, uh, big deal for me. Wanted to look at the boss reliefs. Wanted to look at this statue. It's missing a hand, but, uh, th that doesn't tell us anything. The hand probably just eroded off. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Why would he build a statue of himself? I think the statue must be of someone else. Huh. Ah, I can jump. Uh. Alright. 
Just, just going around, looking around. Old candelabrum here. Okay. Quickly, yeah, I'm gonna check this. this looks interesting. This old man sitting. I wonder if this is here. He's got um, some sort of yeah. It's a telescope. Judging from the uh, the telescope itself, I, I don't know. Put this like 1600s or something. Professor. 1700s, it's maybe. It's a mural of some kind. Could be earlier. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Is that what they call it? Interesting. Technically, that it would be a bas relief, not a mural, but. Uh, you know, a teenager can be forgiven for not noticing the difference. We are, of course, playing a teenager. I don't know how old we're supposed to be. Fifth year of Hogwarts? Is that what? Fifteen? That enchanted crystallized stone again. Oh, yeah. But what could it be blocking? We getting whispered to already? What is this? Dead space? Make us whole again? What's this? Ooh, ooh. Professor Fig. Oh, uh, that's abnormal. It's a mirror. It's a portal. Uh, Fig, yeah, are you here? I'm not going through this alone. Are you gonna say anything before I break this? How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? Uh -huh. I don't see anything. I see. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. So, by interact with magic, you mean shoot it? No, not this time. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Yeah, thought so. Where are we? That room, obviously. I don't believe it. Exciting. Godric's heart, reference to Godric Gryffindor, I assume. Founder of House Gryffindor. But I'm hoping we won't be part of. Because Gryffindors are boring. No offense if you're a Gryffindor. Uh, so, ah, I see. Wake the goblin, huh? Yeah, that looks like a goblin. Um, goblin rebel antagonist? What's his name? Ranrock? See the baddie here? I don't think this is Ranrock, though. I think this is just some random goblin banker, because this looks a whole lot like uh, Gringotts. At least from what I remember of it in the movie, with the uh, the mine carts and everything. The, yeah, mine carts suspended on uh, metal rails, going through these large natural caverns, and this kind of Greek-esque architecture. All right. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Called it. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Thanks, uh. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. Fig's mostly on his game. I was about to say Fig was on his game, but... This way, then. When the gobbo was like the key and... Stay close. I'm trying not to talk over the dialogue. After you. Mm. Yeah, yeah, send me first. I'm a protagonist. I can respawn. Probably. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Solid incentive. How many vaults are there in Green Cards? Hundreds. 
In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Mm. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You'll want to take a breath. A what? Uh. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? <laughs> These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. Now, what did I it say? It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. What did I say from about the 1600s? I mean, I don't know if that buff really was related to Gringotts, but... I don't know, I just got that feeling. From the appearance and particularly Vault the telescope. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. On your way. Okay. Red armband? Bleeding some sort of... Blood droplets. Dragon had some sort of thing over his chest. Bleeding red dro blood droplets. Dr dried droplets? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that what I was about to say. Was glowing. Okay. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. So if the goblins rebel, that's a big deal, because they control the money. You know. They control the flow of money. Here we are. Through the wizarding world. That means they could get a lot of funding to do all manner of unseemly shit. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited <laughs> Vault 12. Until today. Sounds like an easy job. I'd kill for such a job. <laughs> okay, let's go. What are we gonna find in here? Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. Regardless of all the sketchy goblin business going on, I think this one is not sketchy. Yeah, before we do anything, let's, of course, search this chest and we're going to get 48 galleons. That's actually a lot of money. I don't know if they're going to make a distinction between galleons and the other lesser forms of currency. But, like, a single galleon is pretty big, as I recall it. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. <laughs> Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, um... Steady your wand with L and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell, okay? Oh, what, what's that? I don't like it. We did it. <laughs> okay, kind of cool, actually. It's not, uh... Revelio. There, I saw something. Did I? Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, 
that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow yeah. as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. It's almost like it was meant for me. Where's this one going to lead us? Lumos. <laughs> Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our Rebellion. way out of here. What do you mean, earn our mm -hmm. way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Whatever it is, it's... Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. It's dark. Like it's... You guys can't see anything, but rest assured, I can't see anything either. Revelio. I'm just gonna Revelio my way until something shows itself. There's no hints in the darkness. God damn. I'm, I'm getting some, like, Moria vibes here with the pillars reaching towards darkness above. Darkness in all directions. We're gonna fight a Balrog. That'd be exciting. I don't think I'm leveled enough for a Balrog, though. Revelio. Yeah, I'm, uh... Stay close to... Oh, we have to stay close to Professor Fink. Maybe I should... Yeah, we'll let him use his light. Let's not be stupid about it. It said it there on the screen. Bear with me as I occasionally bumble around like an idiot because I don't read something. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. It's whispering. Make us whole again. What when I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Yeah, that's kind of creepy. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Uh, no, it's it's here. It's here. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. Don't. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Nope. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, here we go again. I fucked up. Let's do that again. All right, much better. Like I said, I'm an absolute muggle. Okay, you've acquired the wand lighting charm Lumos, which has automatically been added to your spell set. Lumos creates a light at the tip of your wand. Well. Lumos. Well done. Sweet. Now yeah. the reflection is turning towards me. Yeah, all right. It does follow the light. There we go. Cool. Hold on. Look out! Protego! I fought this Dark Souls boss before, and I'm not a fan. Let the Uso depose Big overpowered. Expose her. Let the Uso. Okay. Hey. Nice. Gonna attack me? Alrighty then. Can I, uh. I need to destroy the statues too, but it seems like he's onto it. Stay close. Nope. Now it's 
real dark. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Nope. Where am I supposed to go? I I think I'm gonna follow the What's happening? Follow the lights. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I know I know Golem said don't follow the lights, but I don't see any other options, so that's what we're doing. And in any case, I don't think it's ever a really good idea to listen to Golem, even if he was technically right in that case. Okay, we have another thing. Is this gonna be another ah, test? That's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be fine. Lumos. Pretty sure I can figure it out. Ah, we gotta get both of them. We gotta get them all to intersect. Cool, cool, cool. It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna to have to fight my way out of here. Cracky. First boss fight, huh? Ow. Okay, I need to get good. Okay, how did I, uh... I'm now, like, failing to cast. <laughs> Sorry, but what? Okay, why? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, uh, hold Protego. To stun enemies with stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage indicated by gold numbers. Okay. Are there gonna be more? Of course there's gonna be more. Alright. Come on. Protego! Stupefy! Cool. Indeed. Stupefy! Attacking the wrong guy, but it's fine. Keep going, next test. I can sprint. Ooh. That's different. Interesting. Okay, another portal. Oh, we just we can just walk through it. Where the hell are we now? Oh wow. I don't think this is Gringotts anymore. Don't think it's Hogwarts either. Strictly speaking, I haven't the faintest clue where the fuck we are. Let's just go to this mysterious pedestal at the center. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen. Where'd Fig go? Uh, ah. There you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that... basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive oh, for viewing memories. I wonder. Memories.
This must be his wife's memories. I'm just gonna guess. Follow Maybe. my lead. So what, you just dip your face into other people's brain fluid? Is that what's going on here? What is this, Bloodborne? Sticky, sticky brain fluid? Yeah, these guys totally look 1500s, 1600s. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. Hmm. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Righty. Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. Ranrock. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. <laughs> I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have a Jerk. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. Ow. What's the deal? Oh boy. We may wish to leave while they're distracted. I know a way out. Professor! Bro, you better run. <laughs> nice. Think he made it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Frame rate. <laughs> That's supposed to happen. All right. Yeah, we're good. Fine, sir. <laughs> I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It's 
seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, that's just... We're, we're just here. In Hogwarts. Does appear that way. Ooh, if this is the open world, that looks good. I can't wait to fly around on either a broom or a hippogriff or a thestral across this open world. <laughs> looks really nice. Thus far, like, graphically, you know, it's nothing too special, but it looks pretty good. Games don't need to look amazing. Besides, I can't run it on my rig if it does. Well, there's a sorting ceremony oh, coming up. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Jealous. Black. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of stuttering here. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? <laughs> it seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Oh, well, there's the four houses on the four tables. Everyone seems sorted already. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. <laughs> Is there going to be a ah, quiz? Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I can't be, yeah, you know, I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm, indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mmm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. Mmm. No, 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 no. Oh, so we just, ha we just get to choose. 
So I got this because I linked my account. The Harry Potter something account. I took the quiz like a long while back and apparently I got sorted into Gryffindor, which is just objectively wrong. So the choice for me, cunning, ambition, and a hunger for power. Intelligence, creativity, and wit. I detect a growing sense of ambition I mean, and eagerness for power. What what are you gonna do? You belong in Slytherin! Yay! Oh god. Dropping so many frames. Okay, I'm gonna have to uh adjust some settings. Sorry guys. Hopefully I'll have that fixed before the next episode. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Bollocks. Unfortunate Enough. injury. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. He's, uh... Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. Not as nice as, as Dumbledore. Saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. All right. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Mm, of course. Very well. Aspiration. Nice. We have got ourselves a beautiful danger noodle gate. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I will do so. Of course, after we look around. But all of that will, of course, be happening in the next episode. But that's going to be all for today. This was a wonderful introduction to Hogwarts Legacy. I am excited to keep playing. It's got... Uh, this game seems to have a lot of promise. Combat is pretty cool. It's, uh, it's actually... I'll, I'll have to get used to it. I was kind of being an absolute muggle. But... Uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. And I don't think I've ever felt excited for anything set in the Harry Potter universe before. It's just never really been my thing, but here we are. We're gonna we're gonna learn about it together. I mean, you probably know more than me. You'll be able to see me learn about it and give my genuine, probably uncultured opinions on the subject matter at hand. So, if you want to see more, subscribe if you're not already subscribe if you're not a uh, returning viewer and uh ring the bell that way you'll get notified when the next episode comes up not sure how many episodes i'm going to be able to put out per week um as it currently stands for the next uh, couple of weeks i'm pretty limited with my recording time i have some time this week but it's gonna get rough in the next two weeks three weeks even 
after that, I should have more time. And uh, I will be uh, hopefully putting several episodes out per week. And then we can uh, make our way through this game. Like I said, this isn't going to be the fastest playthrough. There's going to be other YouTubers and Twitch streamers that are going to finish this game way before me. But if you're interested in a slower, more methodical, more lore-focused playthrough from, you know, somebody that's an author and can give insights from a world-building or storytelling perspective, then uh, stay a while and listen. And I'll catch you in the next one. Ash Harrod out.